Hi this is Tristan from heartroommonitor.co.uk and this is my video review of the Mio Slice. If you're new to fitness training and fitness trackers and such like um, and you looked at products like the Fitbit Charge 2 or the Garmin Forerunner 35 or the Vivo Smart HR or the Polaroid 360 you'll have noticed these sensors on the back these heart rate sensors. The reason I'm saying this is because those sensors were brought to us by this company Mio. Mio were the innovators and initially um, Garmin actually had to use Mio's technology in their 225, in their 400 225. Um, now all of those companies have their own um, chips, well most of them do Polar, Garmin, TomTom -tom and such like. So Mio are an innovative fitness design company and they can be thanked for bringing us the off the wrist heart rate sensor. So what do we have here? Um, another fitness tracker. It's well made, it's comfortable, battery lasts about three or four days. Um, it's very clear as you can see clear and bright. Now I'm going to skip those two. But if I go through it we've got heart rate which takes the heart rate off your wrist from the sensors on the back. We got steps, we got calories, distance, and my sleep duration from last night. I didn't wear it last night actually. And um, back to time. So you may be thinking it's another activity tracker, but it's not. And that's why those two screens there. As it says on the box, the Mio Slice powered by Pi, Personal Activity Intelligence. Let me just pop onto my app. There's me currently running at 110 Pi. Um, please pop over to the website if you want to learn a little bit more about Pi uh, because it's something that really uh, is you have to understand to really appreciate this watch. Initially, I was a bit skeptical, I'll be absolutely honest. I've now used the watch for two and a half weeks and I genuinely am converted. I think it's a brilliant and quite motivated. It's motivational, but it's hard to achieve. Pi, personal activity intelligence, is a score based on your heart rate intensity throughout the day. What Mio have addressed with the Mio Slice is that there's thousands and millions of people who every day try to achieve 10,000 steps, 8,000 steps, 15,000 steps, whatever. I mean, 10,000 steps was the old um, uh, recommended amount. I think it was from a Japanese survey several decades ago for general health and well-being. Um, the problem is. My 10,000 steps can be very different to somebody else's 10,000 steps. 10,000 steps could be jogging or it could be shuffling along. It could be walking up a mountain or it could be, uh, you, you see, so 10,000 steps doesn't really show any intensity of exercise. Pi does. To achieve a pi of 100, score of 100 pi, in a seven day rolling total. That's the objective, 100 pi as a rolling total over seven days. Um, if I just quickly pop over to my app, we can see that I'm currently on 110. Now, each day, you can see, so for example, that day, um, which was Tuesday, Tuesday I went for a bike ride, which is that bit there. Two, two bike rides actually, a longer ride and then a ride home. And I earned 24 pi. 15 of those came from a moderate intensity and 9 from high intensity. If I go to Sunday, Sunday was a particularly, it was a short but it was a hard bike ride. So on Sunday I earned a PAI, a pi score of 64. Six only were from moderate and 58 were from high. If I want to, I can look in more detail at that heart rate graph. 
We can go into that here in more detail. And that's quite a challenging heart rate graph for me. So there is some days That day there, Monday for example, where I've achieved zero PAI. I work from home and I generally sit at my desk doing reviews, etc, etc. And you can just see there's a few traces of heart rate down at the bottom there where I've probably gone downstairs, made a cup of tea, walked the dog around the block very slowly, etc, etc. But there's no exercise on that day. I may well have achieved the daily steps you'll see that I did achieve not many but I did some steps okay 3,000 steps I'll be honest I didn't wear the watch all day long I didn't wear it for some of the evening but you can see it, that it is possible for you to achieve eight nine ten thousand steps and get a zero price score because you haven't really done any exercise you've just been humbling around basically and that's the point of the Mio Pi system you have to be active to maintain a rolling total of a hundred plus you have to have days in the week when you are active and um, for an example this one here I say that earned 64 PAI 64 pi that was a bike ride um, of about 21 miles and uh, as you can see the heart rate was was high for extended periods of time. But that did achieve a PAI, a pi score of 64. Okay, back to the unit. So it's like all Mio equipment, it's well made, it's well designed. I'm not so keen on the strap locking mechanism. That's something I've discussed with Mio, waiting for them to give me their reply on that. Um, but it does the job. It does come in two sizes, a large and a medium or a large and a small. This one on my skin wrist is a bit too big. I have to wear it right on the end. Um, one of the most, uh, for me, useful features of the Mio Slice is that it can broadcast your heart rate. So if you've got something like I have here, a Garmin Edge unit, while I'm in exercise mode, which you get into by pressing and holding this button here, and while it's getting your heart rate from your exercise mode, that's being broadcast now in Ant Plus. So if you have a uh, Garmin device, you can have the heart rate on that without wearing a chest strap. Um, I'm not being very fair here. That's getting my wrist, my heart rate off my finger, which I don't expect to be accurate. So please ignore that. But um, the point I'm making here is that the Mio Slice just like the Mio Fuse can broadcast your heart rate to a, any Ant Plus compatible device. So let's go quickly through the screens. This is in training mode now. So you have time of day, duration, Pi score so far for this session, heart rate, back to time of day. When we finish, press and hold, that's saved. So let's go back to the start. There's no touch screen on this or swiping. I prefer that, I like a button. So time of day, my rolling PAI and my rolling Pi score for the last seven days. My Pi for today, unfortunately it's not much. I'll hopefully remedy that later. So, you know, a five mile run, expect that to get maybe 20, 25, 30 Pi. Uh, obviously it depends on the intensity. If you're just jogging, it might only be 20. If you're pushing hard, doing intervals, it could be 30, 40 or 50 or 60. But that's the point of Pi. Um, my heart rate my daily steps, my calorie burn so far today from my steps, not my metabolic burn, and the distance I've walked today from the steps, and the sleep from last night. Okay, so um, I've given, there are a couple of things that I would like to have in the slice. I'd like it to have date, I'd like it to have an alarm that maybe you can set from the, from the app. Uh, one thing to be aware of, you cannot use this watch without the, um, and a smartphone connection. You have to have the um, the app because most of the settings that you get, um, for example, here, all of this, all of these, all of this stuff, is um, set in the app. So you can't even start the device without connecting it to a um, 
smartphone, Android or iOS. Um, I think I've basically covered it. I've given it a good four and a half out of five stars. I might even give it a five if they come back with a few firmware changes, maybe adding date and such like and an alarm. I think that would just be nice. It's comfortable. I, that is my only criticism. I don't like this strap mechanism. It can pop off. It's, I think it's like the um, Tom Tom Touch. I think I had the same issue with that. I prefer a buckle and a pin. Um, charger. Yeah. This, this type of charger means that the watch is actually waterproof something I forgot to say so you can shower in it and bathe in it I think you can swim in it as well don't expect heart rate though heart rate accuracy has been brilliant if you uh, look on the website or maybe I'll put a quick couple of screen grabs up into this video Uh, I compared it to a chest strap on the bike ride and it was brilliant, really, really good. One of the best I've seen from a wrist-based heart rate monitor. Um, highly recommended. Well done, Mio. I expect to see several other companies using the Pi activity score system. I believe that this is the way forward. Step counting alone is not good enough. We need to see activity, heart rate based activity. So well done Mio, good job. Thanks for watching. This is Tristan from heartratemonitor.co.uk. Please pop over to the website and also check the prices from the links below. Thank you, bye.